morning. Welcome back. 50 years ago Friday, a Virginian galloped his way into greatness. In my latest I Have a Story, photographer Curtis Akers and myself show you how Secretariat is being remembered by the people who knew him a half century after he roared into the history books while leaving his competitors in the dust. And they're off. In the world of competitive sports. It was thrilling. It was just thrilling. Records measure greatness. At the wire, it's going to be Secretariat. Triple Crown is something that doesn't happen often. But year after year, those records fall. And it's Secretariat. It looks like he's opening. The lead is increasing. And new competitors climb to the top. He just took people's breath away. His physical presence was so impressive. In the spring of 1973, one athlete set the bar so high. The entire story just uh, is, is just, it's, un it's unbelievable. His mark of perfection has been standing tall for a half century. Stride, just a, just a fluid, perfect stride. I don't think I've ever seen a stride like that. In one five week span, Secretariat captures the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness and Belmont Stakes. All three races, won by margins never seen. He is moving like a tremendous machine. An accomplishment unmatched before or since. It was just surreal. The, the, the stands, everybody was screaming, everybody was on their feet. As he's pulling away and coming around the turn, there's just this pandemonium. Kay Tweedy remembers witnessing greatness unfold on four hooves. He knew what he was doing. He knew if he got to the finish line first. Secretariat left his mark on the woman from Ashland during his chase for the Triple Crown. Long after the last horse was on his tail, he just kept running at his own speed, like, I love this. I'm going to show you what I got. What Miss Tweedy didn't know was how the horse would change the course of her family's life. He knew he was the king of the heat. Kate is the daughter of the late Penny Chenery, who owned Secretariat while shattering glass ceilings around the track. So there were a lot of traditions and customs that she sort of went, not happening. She was tough. She was tough and wouldn't take no for an answer. Miss Chenery watched her thoroughbred develop into a bronze force at her meadow horse farm in Doswell. He wasn't temperamental. He wasn't mean. He was kind of mischievous and high powered, kind of like mom. <laughs> Kate says no one in the Chenery family predicted their horse would hurtle into history. A lot of naysayers, um, but we had faith. We had faith, but it was all hope, you know. He walked. He was here. It was the great, greatest horse of all time, Secretariat. Horse racing pilgrims like James Littlejohn pay homage to the legend at the preserved stable and shed where Secretariat was born and trained. The feeling when you get on the ground, it's it's mystique. It's like hollowed ground. James is confident we will never see the likes of a big red again. It's just no question when you just look at it, the fact that Secretariat holds the track records for all three races for 50 years. You know, once a horse know you and, and like, oh, you, you, you know, you, you, they, they love you, they love you back. Few people got closer to Secretariat than Alvin Mines. Yeah, yeah, he knowing the camera on him now. <laughs> yeah, he'll look at him. He'll, he'll take a peep at the camera every now and then. <laughs> yeah. The man from Caroline County worked as a stableman at the meadow when Secretariat was a foal. And just to tell the people about it, tell people out here, touch him and feel him, you know, you know, it's amazing. Some people don't get nothing like that in a lifetime. So I treasure that, you know. <laughs> yeah. He was named number 35 of the top 50 athletes in uh, the 20th century. Yes, he was very much an athlete. Racehorses are athletes. Leanne Meadows Layden, author of Secretariat's Meadow, remembers watching the third leg of the Triple Crown on a tiny black and white TV in her college dorm. He was put together as the perfect horse. Miss Layden says with the 50th anniversary upon us, newer generations are swept up by Secretariat's fabled feet. He's still very much a presence today. Still a winner, the champion. He was on the cover of Time Sports Illustrated Newsweek, all the same week. Kate Tweedy wishes her mother, the woman considered the first lady of horse racing, could have lived to see this golden anniversary. 
No, this is the derby. This is at the derby. She's, she's wearing the derby outfit. Um, I can tell what race it is by what she's wearing. 50 years may have raced by, but Kate Tweedy says those five electric weeks in the spring of 73 remain vivid to this day. And then afterwards, everybody's babbling and repeating themselves and people are crying. It was just like, wow, we have seen something unbelievable. 12 other horses have earned the rare triple crown, but no animal has ever finished faster. An amazing, unbelievable performance by this miracle horse. Secretariat, a shooting star with a saddle. He's now a standard of excellence for all sports. He's considered a greatest of all time. For I Have a Story. Today run the most sensational Belmont stake in the history of this race. Just makes people happy. You know, that's such a joy to be able to sort of share this story. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News. Now you get up to Meadow Event Park, former site of the Meadow Horse Farm. You can feel his presence because they have preserved the foaling shed and his training shed and where he was born and where he trained, and it's open to the public. So I would strongly suggest getting up there and visiting. That last little piece of race footage that you had there right before the end, it looked like he was flying. He was floating. 31 lengths. No other horse has come close. And if you'd like to honor Secretariat down at Colonial Downs this August, August 11th, they're having Secretariat Day. Excellent. Thank you, Gregory. Appropriate.